Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Yes, Lord. Greetings, greetings. Good evening, wherever you are. My name is Apostle Father Emmanuel Loka from Ghana. Thank you for joining the live, the program Epikaizo Power Hour. Today is another day. We continue to deal with family issues. And tonight is family deliverance. Shaka Bruni Shaka we shall bring the Zeta de la Bell. We shall go to the Buzika de Bell. We shall bring the Zeta de Bell. We shall cut out of a Zuka de la Bell. We shall cut out of a Zuka de Bell. We shall keep the release of the Bell. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Holy, holy, holy be unto your name. We shall have a little bit of 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 a little bit Masa kadara ba luku bru leza kadabe Risha kadara ba ze kadabe Holy Spirit have your way Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus Risha kadara ba ze kadabe Roko dorobo ze kadabe Re kadara ba ze kadabe Roko dorobo ze kadabe Leza rebe Risha kadara ba ze kadabe Re kadara ba ze kadabe Roso kodobo ze kadabe Risha kadaba sa kadaba Holy Spirit, have your way, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, Shakabra, Lushodabu. Welcome, Miss Cho Williams. Welcome to the Facebook Live. God bless you. Welcome to the Facebook Live, Kimberly Brings. God bless you. God bless you, Renelis. God bless you, Enrita. God bless you, Prophetess Queen. God bless you, God bless you. We shall cover you, we Holy Spirit, have your way, Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. We shall cover you, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome all viewers, welcome listeners, welcome congregation, church. I appreciate your time and your support from Monday to Saturday. I appreciate your time and your prayers and every support that you have for this um, service. May God bless you and enlarge your territory. As once we are here, today is Friday, it's a beautiful weekend, and we still worship the Lord every day, everywhere we find ourselves. So once again, welcome to the Epicazo Power Hour. Tonight, the theme is family deliverance. Family deliverance. Family deliverance. So please kindly like this video share it and let me see your comment if you need any counseling any prayers any advice anything you are going through depression frustration 
you need healing, you need blessings, whatever, I welcome you. Hey, welcome to Epikazi Power, Pastor Clovelly Richards. Wow, that has been a long time. Greetings to you, man of God, to you. How, how are you doing? How is ministry? God bless you for joining the live. It's so lovely to have you here once again. It's been a long time. And God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Woman of God, if there is time, I would like you to join the live as well. I want to see you participating on the service. Yes. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. All is well. We thank God. Tonight, we are dealing with family deliverance. Since Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have been dealing with family issues and evil family pattern and evil foundation in the family, and evil inherited um, cycles and all sort of things. But today is another topic. Yesterday was family bondage. Yesterday we dealt with family bondage. Today is family deliverance because everyone on this earth comes from one particular family and the Lord has planted someone to bring the family up. Yeah, to, to bring the family up. What did they use to establish the family? What, did, what was the foundation? What was the power? What, what was the source? Yes, so that is it. And today we are having with the family deliverance. So, woman of God, it's been a long time. It's been a long time having you on a Facebook live like this. So, I will not let you go. I would like you to be on live on video with me. Send me a video request through the live, and I will accept it so that you minister to us about family deliverance. And um, I don't know where you are right now, but I believe that um, if you are to work, that is okay. But if you are free to join, I mean, the door is open. God bless you, woman of God, Cloverly and Richards. And that is one of my uh, pastors in, in, in USA. And she's very powerful. She can sing, she can prophesy. Everything that God is using um, uh, and his children to do. She's in the fivefold ministry. Yes, and um, she's doing good. Amen. So, Believers, once again, we are dealing with family deliverance, and let me acknowledge some great. <laughs> let, let me acknowledge some great men of God and great women of God. I salute, and um, um, Pastor Kimberly brings, and I, I greet a lot of women of God and um, men of God that I can't remember by them, but they are good to me in the ministry, and God is blessing us in the ministry. Thank you, man of God. <laughs> um, welcome, 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 welcome. So, God bless you. Family deliverance is the thing. We are using our study verse, Ezekiel chapter eight, 18. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 2. We will also go on Colossians chapter 2, verse um, 14 and 15. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 2. The Bible says that, what do you mean? when you use this proverb concerning the land of Israel saying the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge this is the word of God and we say glory be to God God bless you Pastor Kimberly Bringers. God bless how are you doing how are you doing are you back home how is grandpa doing God bless you so, um, once again, this is the life, family deliverance. You can participate. If you are having any family issues, family foundations, family bondage that you are going through in life, you can put in the comment section or you can send a video request right now and you bring out your petition and we will pray with you. Video request is accepted today. From Monday to this day, we have been dealing with family issues. So today is family deliverance. Any family problem, any family case, any generational case that you think is going on in your family and there's no solution to it, 
God has given us the grace, the anointing, the power to break every curse. So you can send a video request. I'll just give you only 10 minutes to talk. Then we pray with you. Then you go. Then another person join. Okay. All right. So as we are moving on, as I've already read the scripture, Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 2. The Bible says, what do you mean when you use this proverb concerning the land of Israel? Say, the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. Believers, according to these scriptures, our forefathers, those that raised the family, we actually don't know the kind of source. We actually don't know the kind of deity they used to establish the family. And whatever power that they used to establish the family, they are no more. Some use witchcraft, some use occultic powers, some use some demonic powers to establish the family. And today, the generations of today and the generations to come are suffering in one way or the other. So if you look at the background of some families, you will agree with me that most of them are suffering in the areas of marriage. Most of them are suffering in the areas of finances. Most of them are suffering in the areas of progress, victory, and also in business as well. Their destiny cannot be located. Their divine helpers cannot be located. Their ministry is not growing because the family battle, the family that they are coming from, the background, the power, the demonic powers has captured or, I mean, enslaved the children of today in the family. So, family battles is one of the most important that everyone need to fight for family battles is one of the toughest battle a person can fight because that is why many people lay their hands on good things but they don't prosper with them that is why a lot of people lay their hands on good marriage at the end of the day the marriage become different thing altogether. That is where a lot of people in the family lay their hands on business and at the end of the day, their business will collapse. So, you will not prosper. The family has a glory. Every family that you see on this earth, every family in this world, it doesn't matter the continent where you are coming from. It doesn't matter if you are in the African continent, if you are in the Europe continent, if you are in America, you are in Australia, you are wherever you are. Every family has a glory that God has bestowed unto them. But the family glory which the enemy is contesting with the end of the children if they are not careful, the enemy may hijack everything, including the generation to come. So this is the time as you are alive, as a mother, as a father, as a grandparent, as a grandpa, as a grandma. You need to gather your family so you pray. For, you need to deliver your family from any family bondage, from any generational curse, from any family witchcraft, from any ancestral powers, from any demonic powers running in the family, and from any evil pattern in the family. Believers. Because many people are simply in the family or in family bondage it asks if their, their mother gives birth, birth to them into family problems you understand and there are there is a reason god established you in that family there is a reason that god established you in that family because in some village today 
the practice of witchcraft is becoming i mean an acceptable occupation the practice of occultism has become something acceptable as 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 a job to them today there was rainy year. i went to town and i came back home I, a, 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 a man and the wife were waiting for me and it was like man of god since we got married we've never had peace and i said let's pray and i started praying with them here right here and the lord arrested the 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 the, 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 the woman's father the woman's father was a and she is is a fetish priest, not knowing the, the 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 woman's father has stolen everything that belongs to the lady in the spirit, a marriage, a traveling, a womb, a, a business, a job, a prosperity. So we need to pray and break these things, and glory be to God. There was a manifestation of the glory of God. When they left here, they walk outside. Immediately, the lady had a call from a friend in Europe that the friend is sending her an amount of money to establish herself. Just right today. And that was family deliverance. So family deliverance is not a joke that you need to play with so as i'm as i'm saying that their family that they practice witchcraft in the broad daylight they make sure there is an embargo in some families who have great chances of prospering i mean their children that's why there are many uncompleted buildings in the village, in town and cities. Many powers does not want such a family to come out with a blessing. If you are in a family bondage and you have been trying so hard to receive your deliverance without no solution today, may the Lord may the lord pull you out from every evil foundation in the name of jesus christ one thing that makes some family to suffer is inherited or transferred problems which makes people to continue from the affliction where their parents stops so until there is deep deliverance in your family, your life will continue to experience disappointment and failure at the edge of breakthrough. Some cases can, I mean, glued a person for many years. And today, the deliverance that went on at my place I nearly even had problem if you look at my mouth because the deliverance was so strong and very deep and as the Holy Spirit arrested the, 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 the spirit man of, 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 of the, the, the woman's father who, who is a, a fetish priest he nearly destroyed my mouth it, it wasn't easy task. So family deliverance is not something a joke or a, a child play. I didn't get it easy. A lot of things was, was broken here. Because that's the place, this place they came and met me. You see? And a lot of people underestimate this kind of powers that there is no power in the family let me tell you no one in your family eh, can hurt you 
without consulting any demonic altar in the family. And no one outside the family can act you without not consulting any member of your family who is connected to the powers, the demonic powers in your family. Do you know who is chasing your soul? Who is after you? No. Not all clean face that shows that they love you. Not all smiling face, not all white teeth that are so good to you. Because they wanted you to inherit that family patterns and you have to stand on your feet and fight against any inherited family issues. So, where there are inherited family battles, people experience these things. Where there are inherited family battles, people experience backwardness, they experience stagnation, they experience confusion, they experience frustration, they experience setbacks, they experience failure, they experience marital delay, they experience disappointment, they experience various aspects of hardship, and they experience poverty, and they experience rising and falling, and all kinds of sickness. So, if you read the Bible, the story in 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 1 to 9, is a typical example of inherited family battles. The Bible says that now there was a famine in the days of David for three days, for three years, sorry, year after year, and David inquired of the Lord. And the Lord answered, it is because of Saul, listen to it is because of Saul and his blood-tasty house, because he killed the Gibeonite. Listen, because of Saul, that is why there was famine in that land in the days of David. The Bible says that, so the king called, David called the um, Gibeonite and spoke to them. Now the Gibeonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the remnant of Amorite. The children of Israel had sworn protection to them, but Saul had sought to kill them in his zeal for the children of Israel and Judah. The Bible says that in verse 3 says that, Therefore David said to the Gibeonites, What shall I do for you? And with what shall I make and torment this thing that you may bless the inheritance of the Lord? The Bible says that, and the Gibeon had said to him, We will have no silver or gold from Saul or from his house, nor shall you kill any man in Israel for us. So he said, Whatever you say, I will do for you. The Bible says that in verse 5. Then they answered the king, As for the man who consumed us and plotted against us, that we should be destroyed from remaining in any of the territories of Israel. Let seven men of his descendants be delivered to us, and we will hang them before the Lord of Gideon of Saul. Whom the Lord chose. And the king said, I will give them. I will give them. And verse 7 says that, But the king spared Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, and the son of Saul, because of the lost oath that was between them, between David and Jonathan, the son of Saul. Wow. Verse 8 says that, So the king took Ammoni and Mephibosheth, the two sons of Ripa, the daughter of Aya, whom she bore to son, and the five sons of Micah, the daughter of Saul, whom she brought up for Adriel, the son of Basilia, the Meholatite, 
Verse 9 says that, And he delivered them into the hands of the Gibbonite, and they hung them on the hill before the Lord. So they fell, all seven together, were put to death in the days of harvest, in the first day, in the beginning of the barley harvest. Believers, we, this is the word of God in 2 Samuel 21. So you see, the cause of Saul brought famine in the land and brought battle and um, untimely death, brought death, premature death in, in, in King Saul's house. But the covenant between David and Jonathan, Mephibosheth was spared. May you be spared out from any evil curses in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bring you up and no one in the family will be sacrificed. So the Bible says that the Gideonite requested seven people from Saul's family to be hanged. And the Bible says that Saul's and uh, uh, David says that whatever you will say, I will do. And David took the seven children of um, Saul and they were hanged before the Lord and they died. Today, people are fighting battles that they don't understand. People are fighting battles that they don't understand. This is, this is like fighting with shadows. You can't win because you are not dealing with the substance. For some, it is a battle with constant miscarriage. For some, it is a battle with delayed marriage. It is a battle with divorced marriage, separated marriage, strange illness, chronic diseases, disappointment, stubborn problems, stubborn problems, poverty, strange negative family patterns, demonic oppressions, and so on and so on. So all of this remain a mystery to them. May God uncover it all for you in Jesus' name. I say may God uncover it all for you in Jesus' name. Also, that was early this year, somewhere January. That was on 29th January. This year, 29th January, a case was brought to me. A case was brought to me. And it was a family of four ladies, all separated from their husbands and returned to their father's house, including one who was married to a pastor. And I engaged them in prayers after which it was revealed that a family idol a family idol was responsible for this negative pattern in their life so their mother had also left a husband for many years back after running the four sisters through a, 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 a session of deliverance, their husbands came back to their sins and the same day, they all came back to take their wives. And as the spirit behind the issue was sent back in, every strong man operating in your family is evicted today in Jesus' name because the, the four women, after the deliverance, their husband came back to him. Believers, as we see in our Bible context, we see that there is a reward for whatever a man does, whether good or bad. If your grandfather was a killer, his reward will rub on his children's children. 
like as it happens to King Saul in 2 Samuel chapter 21. So, sometime also, I was ministering in a program and I received a word of knowledge that blood, blood was crying against a sister at that time as the service was going on. So the Holy Spirit led me and I located the sister and a voice cried out from her saying, I must kill her. I must kill her. I must kill her. I must kill her. When I required father, it said a, fa a, a, a husband's father, a husband's father, the sister that I was delivering, a husband's father buried a virgin alive some years ago and so on. So the blood of the virgin was crying against the family of that sister's husband. Family. So the power had killed so many, many members of the family, including the husband of the sister in question. So this sister and her daughter were the next victim because the, 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 the father sacrificed a virgin, a woman, and the blood was crying. So as long as they, 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 they bear the family name, as long as they bear the family name, then they are victim. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Any marriage that you have engaged and you bear a man's name and there is a blood crying in the family or your mother, your father has, I mean, sac make a, a, a sacrifice and the blood of that person is crying. I send the power of the Holy Ghost. I send the blood of Jesus Christ to release you out from it. You shall not be a target. You shall not be a victim. Some time ago, a lot of people, fathers, visit occultic and this kind of are Christians and Buddhists and they make, they sacrifice people and they, they, they even sacrifice animals and later it turns a battle to you. So, as I'm saying, there was an evil law in operation due to the parent mistakes. Due to the parent mistakes. Such laws may encourage untimely death in the family, may encourage delayed marriage, may encourage poverty, may encourage prosperity or increasing in life or growth in life. And if you are if you have a ministry or a business you are doing, that that power may encourage your ministry. Or your business not to grow so you'll be struggling here and there there and here every day and night there is problem so no wonder if you check the bible in in jeremiah chapter 31 verse 29 to, to 30 the bible says that in those days they shall say no more that the fathers have eaten some grapes and the children teeth are set on edge. And verse 30 says that, but everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Every man who eats the soul grace, his teeth shall be set on edge. The cause or the mistake that your father did or your mother did, he must bear or she must bear that problem. You are not the one to bear that problem. And sometimes when you are not lucky and those that made the mistakes are no more, you and the generation to come will suffer. I quite remember some time, some years ago, around the year 2015, 
before the death of my late father. My father was a chief by then. And he became sick somewhere 2014, somewhere 2014, June, July, like by this season. And I summoned him and I told him, Daddy, if you know that you have consulted any ancestral powers, any idols' powers, without our knowledge, you have to tell us, you have to tell me, I am a man of God now by God's grace, so that I can lead you in prayer and destroy all these things. And he was able to tell me what he did and what he couldn't do, what he didn't finish. I get dead my, 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 my brothers and my sisters. And we, 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 we fasted for 14 days to break that demonic altars. And where he went, and when they spoke to the fetish priest, and I told them that my father has no contract with you, including us. If he has contract with you, that is him, but not us. We bought, we bought this kind of oil. We bought this kind of oil. Mm? We bought them, that is 21, with different kind of spiritual items. And we went to where we need to go to destroy, to deliver the family, to deliver my father. And he was free from that sickness until 2015. And God told me, your father need to rest. And God called my father. Do you understand? So, the mistakes of your fathers, if your father is alive, you need to question him. If your mother is alive, you need to question her so that he can tell you the truth. Even if it's not the cause or the problem in the family, he might have an idea because he's, he's, he's a grown up and he's your father. He might know the history of the family or the background of the family so that you may pray against that things and destroy it. Because family deliverance, breaking altars, is not just a mere prayer. It's not just only three, the three hours prayer, two hours prayer, and, and just three days prayer. You need to fast. At least, at least, your dry fast is 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. must be seven days. The highest is 21 days. And the, the maximum is 40 days, 49 fasting. Including the oil I show you and different, different kind of items all together. Because family deliverance is not easy to be broken. So, the fathers that ate in the soul graves, the iniquity of your own father, you must not bear it. He must bear his own. If he is alive to repent, so that I allow you to destroy it, the family will be free including the generations to come. Believers, however, by the grace in Christ Jesus, we have a better law that supersedes every evil law. Believers, no man is exempted from ancestral battles. If your parents are guilty, God is not a respecter of persons. The earth is governed by um, um, principles. The earth is governed by principles. And there are certain principles you must not play with it. People will say that, oh, but I have accepted Jesus Christ as my own and personal Savior, and I'm washed by the blood of Jesus. And he who that he that is in me is greater than that is in the world. Yes, we have been saying this every day, but yet your life is not going on. What I'm trying, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say you need to go extra mile. You need to have a miracle miles. You need to have a deliverance miles. To destroy that thing. 
So he that is in you is greater than that is in the world. You will use he that is in you to destroy that others. The strength of Gideon to destroy the family altars, the family shrine, was not just a baby man's strength. He used strength, energy, wisdom. But listen, to when Gideon destroyed the family altars, eh, later he thought he was free, but later he went back to sin again. So when you when when you stand on your feet to break the family curses to deliver the family, knows that your life is in danger because they'll be coming after you. So you have, you must not stop. You have to be in place every day because the enemy will not allow you easily to do whatever you want to do. And the whole family, the whole family, is on your head, and you are going to deliver them. The whole family. Then it's a huge task. You must not do that alone. You will need strong men and women of God who are powerful to lead you to get direction from God. So, as I said, the earth is governed by principles, and there are certain principles you must not play with. So we have the person of God, the person of Jesus. Who can take you to heaven but to live successfully on earth you need the principles of Jesus may God may God arise and fight for you in Jesus name may God arise and fight for you in Jesus name are you here with me may God arise and fight for you in Jesus name because we need to pray Lord, may Lord show us the secret behind the family battles that we have been fighting. Father, whatever we have lost as a result of battles, we, we, we repossess it in Jesus' name. Lord, show me the secret of my life. Show me the secret in the family to deliver them. So no wonder in Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 to 15, the Bible says that blotting out the handwriting of ordinance that was against us, which was, I mean, contrary to us, and took it out the way, nailing it to the cross, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a, he made a shoe of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Family deliverance is one of the toughest battles a person can fight. Family constitute the symbols of trees and branches. A family cannot prosper when there are into satanic bondage the person might be working but there are certain ancestral powers wasting the effort of the person the person might be i mean a good person but the moment he meets his, his soulmate or a soulmate then some traits some negative character be coming out the person have the gift to prophesy to do ministry to do what god has in, in, instructed her to do but because of this kind of satanic bondage and ancestral powers they will join it back never play with this kind of family bondage and family patterns family patterns are very very important when you check the genealogy in matthew chapter one it end up in the house of Jesus, Mary and Joseph. And it wasn't easy. It's a pattern. So a family cannot prosper when they are into satanic bondage. So the reason many people are hiring pastors these days 
for deliverance, it is because of some powers challenging the progress of people in that family. If your foundation is destroyed, you cannot marry. You cannot have a total breakthrough. You cannot succeed in anything. You will not prosper. When your foundation is destroyed, you will be operating under a curse you don't even know its source. That is why many people lay their hands on good things and they don't succeed. God bless you. Many people are simply in a family bondage and they cannot make any progress or achieve anything in life. Almost everything is lost. But tonight, don't give up. You don't give up to those challenges. You don't give up to, to those challenges rooted to your foundation. There is a reason God establish you in that family. In some villages today, a lot of people are dying. Young ones, our life are being destroyed. So if your family is in bondage, you need to deliver them. So the Bible says that, what do you mean when you use this proven? The family needs to be delivered. The fathers have, 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 have eaten, I mean, a sour grapes, and the children are rather suffering. Where are the fathers today? Where is the father that established the family? The family that I, 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 I am in or I come from. The family that you are coming from. Who, 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 who brought up the family? The person who brought up the family. What kind of source? What kind of powers? If you go to a lot of places at night, you see demonic sacrifice that they are doing. But may the Lord deliver you. Family deliverance is a gateway of freedom. If supported by the Holy Spirit, there are some people that called pastors, evangelists, and uh, I mean for family liberation. And there will be instant purging of foundation of such family. And of course, within a short time. Believers, the Bible says that in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, that and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. Believers, the, 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 the reinforcement of these demons leads to what? Untimely death in the family. Any first child must pass through their operation. There are chronic sickness and chronic disease, record of high, high number of jobless people in the family, making sure some run mad. I know one family in Ghana here, somewhere in the Volta region. Every year, 24th September, a young boy at the age of 25 to 30 must run mad. Every year, I know a family. I don't know if that if the family is still in that bondage. You see? So they need total deliverance. So battles have become a daily bread of many families today. And it might have seemed that God is serious angry with that family. In the very sense, there is no love and unity in the family. Believers, how do they attack certain families as well? Talking of these kind of things. Enemy cannot attack your lineage without any proper information about your family. So they can operate into your family through the following. As I said, one, when your grandfather or grandmother or people in your family is exposing the sources of a person who is in the, in, in the city to them. Number two, when you come from a polygamous family, there would be a chance to step mother. 
having a connection with enchanters and diviners. So she should be jealous because of none of the children are sending her money. Then the third one is when you travel to your hometown or to your village or where you are coming from and to go there with plenty gifts. You give money to the family members without considering the stepmother or other people in the place. It also makes them very serious to work at this way. So believe that this family deliverance, we need God to intervene for us. And without God intervention, nothing proper we will see in life. We are coming to pray. Shakabra lo shokodo bole shakaraba, risha kadaraba zekaraba rekabra. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Risha kabra le shakaraba, risha kabra le karaba. This moment, I don't know the family you are coming from. This moment, I don't know the kind of deliverance you need. I don't know your situation. I don't know your circumstances. I don't know the battles that is going on in your family but i believe that any battle that you are fighting in the family may the influence of the power of the holy ghost descend unto you may the lord be stored unto you the power the strength the energy to destroy every family battle to conquer and have victory in the name of jesus any family pattern that you are in may the lord deliver you in the name of jesus open your mouth and thank the lord thank the lord Father, we thank you. Risha kabro lo shukurubu. Risha kabra le shakada ba rikabro. Risha kada ba zeka de ba rikabra. Risha kada ba zukurubu rikabro. Risha kada ba zeka de ba. Risha kada ba zukurubu rikabra. Risha kabro lo shukurubu rikabra. Risha kada ba zeka de ba rikabro. Risha kada ba zukurubu rikabra. Risha kada ba zukurubu rikabra. Risha kada ba likada ba likada ba. Risha kada Rukunobo Ricabra, Risha Kadaba Zikadaba Ricabra, Risha Kadaba Zukunobo Ricabra, Risha Kadaba Zikadabe, Risha Kadaba Zukunobo, Risha Kadaba Zikadabe, Risha Kadaba Zikadabe, Risha Kadaba Zikadabe, Risha Kadaba Zikadabe, Ricabra, Lusukunobo Ricabri, Lisa Kadabe, Risha Kadaba Zukunobo Ricabra, Rasha Kadaba Zikadaba Rukunobo, Risha Kadaba Likadaba. I pray for you in the name of Jesus as a man of God with an apostolic mantle and the oil breaker concerning any family demons, concerning any family orders. I pour in the, the oil of anointing, the oil, the oil to enter into your mother's family, to enter into your father's family, wherever you are, whoever that is watching me right now, let me see your name, let me see your name on the comment section. If you need total deliverance, you need family deliverance, let me see your name on the comment section that I'll mention your name and, and pray for you, send the power of the Holy Ghost into your mother's family and your father's family in the name of Jesus Christ. We pour the power of the Holy Spirit, the oil, the oil, the oil that breaks every yoke, the oil breaks every yoke. May it enter into your mother's family, into your father's family right now in the name of Jesus. Risha Kabra Le Sekarebe. Risha Kabra Lu Sukunubu. Risha Kadaraba Zukunubu. Rikadaraba Zikaraba Rikabra. Rakadaraba Zukunubu Rikabra. Father, we come against anywhere spoken in the name of Jesus Christ. Risha Kadaba Likaba Kimbali Wallis. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. In the family altars and in the demonic pattern. In the family cast, in the generational cast that is fighting your destiny, that is fighting against your business, your marriage, your prosperity, your happiness. And Father, may the oil, may the oil that breaks every yoke enter a family right now in the name of Jesus Christ into a ministry, into a business, and into a marriage affair in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Abre, lisa karaba, lukodobo, rikada daba, zikada ba, rikabra, rikada daba, zikada ba. In the name of Jesus Christ, shakada daba, shakada ba. Father Lord Jesus, I I I make a declaration that any woman, any man that is sitting at the back of family altars, 
chanting or calling the soul or the name of Kimberly Wallace, calling the name and the soul of the viewers that are watching and those that will replay later. Father, I pray that may that person die, may that evil spirit be bind in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the case that is operating in the family that made the children never have themselves, I break and loose everyone in the person that is watching, that is listening, that is under the voice of your son, that may you deliver them, may you deliver the family. May you deliver the family from any curse, from any bondage, from any pattern in the name of Jesus. Any untimely death, any delayed marriage, any unsuccess or, or, um, unsuccessful business. Father, we bring them out. Father, we break them and lose them in the name of Jesus Christ. From every inherited curse. In the name of Jesus. 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 Holy Ghost fire. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, let the blood of Jesus Christ correct an inherited defect on your people, God. Let the blood of Jesus Christ wipe away in the case. In the ancestral powers be arrested. In the cosmics or principalities that has been employed in their family be arrested by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. I break any case of rejection from the womb or any illegitimacy that may be in your family. Father Lord Jesus Christ, I break all the cases of deformity, any infirmity, and sickness in the family. Who is sick? Who has inherited this sickness? In the family father i lose them out from it in the name of jesus christ thank you lord father i command the spirit of death and hell to lose its hold upon their life in the name of jesus i break every demonic cycle in their life in their family and ministry in the name of jesus lord send your axe of fire to the foundation of their farm of their life and destroy every evil foundation let the fire of the holy ghost let the fire of the holy ghost enter into their bloodstream and cleanse them in the name of jesus i break every case of automatic failure mechanism in the name of jesus every cow drawn of darkness father i break them into pieces let your Holy Ghost take in charge. 
Father, the bank of Satan in their business, in their ministry, in their life, be dismantled. Let them receive their prosperity. I command prosperity to them. I command their riches. I command their marriage. Any delay has made the spiritual acceleration, made the speedy acceleration come into their life. Father, may you announce them to the globe. Let their ministry stand. Let their marriage stand in the name of Jesus. Whatever their hand will touch, let it be a blessing unto them. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for destroying any satanic powers in the family. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And I appreciate your time. Thank you for joining the life. And it's a powerful service. I believe so. And I believe that we have been redeemed and delivered. And continue to have faith and believe in God. Continue to pray. Lack of knowledge, my people perish. I've been saying this. Don't be ignorant of the enemy's device. Family altars, ancestral curses, generational curses are destroying destinies in our generations to come. So please pay attention to it. Pray. There are a lot of directions. There are a lot of prophetic act, symbolic action that you need to apply to destroy any family problems and overcome family battles. If you want to know more about it, contact me on my Facebook Messenger or I have my WhatsApp number under the video description and we will talk more. Also, God bless you. If you want to support the ministry, if you want to support Apostle Father Emmanuel Okai, I have my cash app on this video description. You can take it and send any donation. If you want to give any offering, any contribution, that is from your heart. We are not begging you. That is from your heart to support the ministry. And God bless anyone that make time with the Lord. We, we are here on Mondays and Saturdays only at 12 a.m. in my time. That will be maybe 7 or 8 p.m. in your time. So thank you and God bless you for joining the life. If you have been blessed, if the tes testimony you can share with me after a year. Also, if you need counseling and prayers or anything concerning ministry, you can contact me and I'll respond to you. God bless you and we love you all. God loves you all. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, we bless you that you have brought your children to a deep deliverance. May your word be seed in their life and may you take these words from you seriously and may they act on it. May your angels visit them day and night in their dreams and deliver them from it. And glory and honor and blessing shall be given unto you. You are the resurrection and life. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Peace. Shalom.